Alright guys, hey, I'm back with another video. So as you know before, I came up with a, uh, or I had figured out a way to get my game to stop hitching. Uh, now, at the time, I just assumed that I had fixed it. I didn't even think that, uh, hey, I'm reducing the streaming distance. So if the tile isn't being loaded, then the trees on the tile won't be visible. And that's exactly the case. So whenever I'm coming around bins, and stuff I will see that there's no trees and then suddenly there will be trees pop up behind the other trees and it'll be very visible and I'll go ahead and show you that so also the how I had to fix it is I actually had to reduce my streaming distance down to 20,000 centimeters in order to get that to uh, uh, stop hitching as much but I actually ended up finding a better method if we come over here into Terra Sculptor, I'm just using this to show you the tile sizes. I press EU, or uh, yeah, UE, I mean. So if you see, we have tile sizes 127 and 253 and 505 and then 1009, and it keeps going up. But I wouldn't recommend using tile sizes larger than 505. If you're getting hitching issues, you might want to reduce your tile size. Um, this is probably something you should experiment with, uh, with your foliage and your game before you even, dis even start to lay things out. Because if you don't, then you'll do a lot of work and you might have to uh, redo a lot of that work in order to fix your, your problem. So... I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that uh, to you here, and I need to, uh, I think I went a little bit overboard on uh, my height of that shirt underneath that jacket, but you're about to see here. So the hitching is mostly gone, and just ignore the words on the landscape, that's just for debugging purposes. Also, it seems like... Uh, that bug I had with my character spinning his back, so I must have messed something up. If you look in the distance, uh, you'll see that there's no trees there, and now there's trees. Now it's going to do this constantly throughout the game. It's going to, uh, the foliage is going to constantly just uh, pop up out of nowhere. And that's not what we want. But that was the only way I was able to get performance uh to be adequate so over here on this map i don't think i actually have this one uh set up or maybe it was bugged yesterday when i tried to do a video on this one but on this one i am using uh let's see i'm using tile sizes 253 uh for my world composition Now, let's see, so on this one, I kept it at 50,000, but, and actually I don't think this was working yesterday, I don't think it was actually streaming in these, I don't know why, but I can go ahead and try to uh, pull it up so that you can see what, what it, how it acts on 253, I'm just trying to give people a good idea, like, how their game may perform uh, when you have really thick vegetation. And yeah, I put that there for this specific reason. It doesn't look like uh, the tiles are going to spawn for some reason. I think I, uh, I probably accidentally deleted the uh, landscape on this one. No, the landscape is there, but it's not uh, loading this in for some reason. Anyway, that's I'll just skip down to 127 and show you that. So while we're waiting on this to load, I'll go ahead and uh, uh, break this down. So if you're not familiar with uh, world composition, the first thing you have to do is go into world settings and you have to enable world composition right here uh, just don't worry about any of these other settings for now uh, this kill z is like how far the character can fall before uh, he's destroyed 
uh, right here is where you'll see your world tiles. You don't want to put, you don't want to right click and create a level inside of here because it'll try, to, it'll think it's going to be a streamed level. If you don't want something being streamed in and out, like lighting, for example, uh, or your player character, your main player character, then you're going to want to put him on the persistent level. To place something on a level, you have to right click and make it current, make that level current. By default, persistent level will always be uh, current. You can import tiled landscape. You select the height map tiles. So if you have a whole bunch of tiles, for example, you would select one and go to the bottom and, and then hold shift and select the last one and then uh, open. If you flipped it outside of Unreal, don't flip it again inside of Unreal. This will, this will screw it up. Uh, if, for example, I flipped mine in World Crater when I first tried to import them, I had it flipped here too and everything was, was uh, it, nothing was matching up. You can enable edit layers right here, scale it down as needed, and choose your material and import. If you need an offset, I it's unlikely that you will, but if you did things right, you should need one. Right here, uh, let's see, this one is going to be the one of the buttons you use the most. So if you press this, it'll pull up your entire map. You can right click and load or you can drag over some and load. Also, you can create different st streaming distances. So you can make streaming distances that are smaller and larger. These streaming distances tell how far away that tile will be visible. So right now I have them all visible from 50,000 away. That's the default. That seems to work for me for now. I might mess with it later. If you create a layer and you need to remove it and you're wondering how do I remove it, you can't manually remove it, but you can unassign things from it. And after you've unassigned things from it uh, and you restart the level, if nothing is assigned to that uh, category, that streaming distance uh, layer that you created, then it will go away by itself. So if I just right click and I load this right here, I can create a layer, I can call it my layer, and I can right click on it, and I can go to assign layer and choose my layer. And now when I choose uncategorized, you'll see that there's a layer missing there. And if I go to my layer, you'll see I have that right here. And now I can right click and I can assign it back to the uncategorized. And when I reload this, uh, it'll only have this one right here because nothing is assigned to this one. So with that said, uh, where this meets right here is the origin right here in the center. If you have your player spawning way over here and uh, he's not being possessed, um, it like whenever you load the game if it's putting you inside of a uh, uh, spectator mode then uh, it's because you're too far away from the center that's what origin rebasing is for now you'll see it's not 100% smooth but I don't get any jerking and I'm able to stream this at 50,000 from 50,000 centimeters away now you'll see a little popping off in the distance but that's just because I haven't set up my LODs yet so uh, what you're seeing is landscape uh, popping into existence where there wasn't one any before uh, I will fix that by setting up LODs and I will show you how to do that as well So I have a day-night cycle uh, set up on here, and it doesn't look the best as it's getting dark, but once it gets dark, uh, full dark, it looks okay, in my opinion. Also, it'll probably be a little bit, probably looks a little bit weird because I have my debug turned on for my landscape. It's just something uh, 
that's set up on this material uh, blueprint or material shader as you can see I'm not getting any hitches anymore and I'm using small tile sizes so with that out of the way um, let me continue so now that you you know how to set up uh, streaming layers right here let me show you how to set up LODs so first off what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to highlight all of your landscape tiles and you're gonna want to summon level details that's this button right here and it'll bring this up it'll say you have multiple values selected that's fine what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up uh, let's say two LODs I can create more if I need to later but for now I think I just need uh, two LODs the first one is gonna be a uh, visible from a hundred thousand and I'm gonna say a hundred fifty thousand uh, for this one and this one will be let's say let's say let's just say 40 and then this one will be like 60 And you can uh, bake grass to the landscape as well if you want. Bake foliage. I think that's that's probably not going to work for trees, obviously. But uh, it might work for rocks and uh, bushes and stuff of that, of that nature. Uh, give you the illusion that there's foliage there. Like where there's not. And I probably should have mentioned, yeah, uh, that... All of your levels have to be loaded in in order to generate that for it or it will not be generated. And that seems to be the case here. Because if you see, let's see, 100,000 and I think I did 60. Let's try that again yeah okay so they have to be loaded in if you have a lot of tiles like me it's gonna be a pain it's gonna take a while but that is something you'll have to deal with so when you have these small tiles like this you don't actually want them all loaded in but I'm gonna load all mine in and I'm just gonna do something in the background while I wait anyway I hope this uh, video helped you guys out uh, as you can see, when you're working with thick foliage, it may actually be better to use a very small tile size. I thought that uh, didn't make sense, but after having experimented with it, it seems to be the best uh, uh, method for me. Because it seems to allow me to view things as far as possible without the GPU hitching coming back. And actually, it looks like it's already loaded. <laughs> I thought that would take a lot longer. So let me just set this back to 100,000. And then I will set this back to 60. And I had this one set to 150,000. So I think, yeah, I added a, an extra zero in there. We don't need one and a half million. Uh... And then I set that to 40. Okay. Um, I'm not sure why it's... Okay, let's do this. There we go. I don't know what happened there while I was doing that. <clears throat> now with all of these loaded, you'll see it's now letting me generate my first LOD uh, of those things. and it's going to do that recursively it's going to take a really long time because I have like 101 uh, tiles here actually 
I think I might have over a thousand. Yeah, I do. Okay. Anyway, so having all these loaded up in the viewport and working on them all at once is going to be a pain. So I would suggest not loading them all up at once as I'm doing here. It's not really a good idea. Um, unless you're just trying to generate LODs, uh, it's probably okay. If you would just want to do it all at once and walk away, that's what I did. So anyway, I hope this video helped you guys, and uh, I will see you in the next video.